Good morning, happy Wednesday. So it is 20 past eight. We've been up a while just getting dressed and ready. Um, and I've got my fry up, same as yesterday. So bacon with the fat removed, two Asda light and lean Cumberland sausages, a fried egg, and some fried peppers and tomatoes with a coffee and I'll have some reduced sugar and salt ketchup to dip in. Good morning, happy Wednesday. So it's now 10 past nine. We've eaten our breakfast. Charlie's had a couple of little walks just for a wee wee outside. We've uh, packed up our bags uh, and we're gonna have 10, 15 minutes rest before we set off. Um, we are going to go to Aero Force today and just take it slow, take it easy. Uh, even if we end up doing the four mile walk, we've got all day to do it. Um, I definitely think there might be an ice cream at some point today or some kind of treat, but we'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's going to be a nice day today and tomorrow. So yeah, I'll uh, catch up. So as I say, Aeroforce is a waterfall um, above the lake of Ullswater. Um, we have previously walked from Houghton to, no, from Glenridge into Houghton and back. That's on last year's vlogs. Uh, but this is on the other side of Ullswater. So yeah, it should be nice. It's something that we've wanted to see for a while. Well, it's getting up to uh, 10 o'clock and we are just about ready to set off. It's uh, a bit of a drive over to Ullswater, but I'm sure we'll be there. I'm ready to set off by 11 o'clock. Are you ready for another eight mile walk today, dear? Eight minute walk. Eight minute walk, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's now about quarter past 11. We are here at Aeroforce car park. Again, we went to the wrong car park and had to redirect ourselves. But we are here at the right place eventually and have been uh, forced to pay a ransom fee for the car park. Uh, it's cost us seven pound for four hours. So we are gonna actually have to keep moving if we want to get the whole walk done but I shall let you know how we get on well, we've just got started it's a bit busy around here it's a bit of a tourist spot we're just passing a little beck a little sort of park area there's the adventurers there And there's a school trip as well, which is not ideal, but hey ho. So we're just doing the short climb, hopefully up to the waterfall, which I think you can already hear. Or you can hear the streams anyway. And so walking through this lovely nature. I mean, just look at that. Just a lovely wooded path. And then this is our first view of Ullswater, apart from uh, when we've seen it in the car, but I'm sure we'll see many more views of it slowly along the way. So this is Ullswater Lake. Still walking towards the waterfall. What I keep thinking is, two or three years ago, even, a short walk like this would have been almost out of the question and it's just so lovely, such a lovely day and such lovely sights and sounds and the helicopter's out so let's hope some poor soul's not stuck up skidder. What, <laughs> what do you think? Would you have liked the helicopter to rescue you yesterday? Only if it was a woman driving. I think he needs pushing in the, uh, in the waterfall, don't you? Well, unless we're catastrophically lost, which I don't think we are, um, 
I don't think the waterfall, I don't think the um, rain's been heavy enough to create a stunning waterfall. But we're going to carry on with this water we got. Just turn the page back for me. That's what it's supposed to look like, but we haven't come across anything like that. But uh, I think what we'll do is we'll carry on with this walk and see what we find. Getting away from the crowds a little bit now. I think we're just going to have a stop and have a little drink by this uh, stream. Hopefully maybe on the way back down we'll get on the other side of the waterfall and be able to see it a bit better. Yeah, we're above it now. So yeah, I think it's drinking banana time. Got a nice paddle. Yes, thank you. have eventually found a little bit of a waterfall. So peace, a bit more peaceful, a bit further up, not as many people around. But we're definitely going to walk a bit further and get some views. So it's 10 past 12 and we're still walking by the side of the beck up through the sunny woods slowly slowly climbing a bit, bit more gentle climb but still uneven underfoot down there you've got the stream or the beck we just talked to some lovely people who fell in love with Charlie how are you feeling Mr Fawcett? yeah I'm all right Good. Yeah, I mean, you know me, I, I prefer to be out of the way from people and just so... Well, hopefully, okay, we, yeah. if, even if we don't have time to complete the whole walk, if we get out yes. up here a bit, then oh, yes. we can have some dinner and then decide what to do. Mm. Can't we? Dinner. Mm. When we find the... Hopefully we'll walk far enough and get a view over Lake Derwent. into the open country we have got the school party trip behind us but never mind we can still enjoy the scenery what's behind us. There you go. Did you see them? And the view down into the valley. And we're properly climbing again. Right up to there. There's Ullswater. That's what I meant to say earlier. It's Ullswater, not Derwent. Back to climbing. So it's just after half past 12. We're still climbing up Galbarrow. I think there's still a fair bit of climb to go. We've got to follow the path up there and find the trig point. Just look at it. 
I'm having trouble uploading yesterday's vlog but I'm still going to carry on filming for now and hope that my memory and the internet will allow something to upload carry on and we'll get our dinner somewhere there he is taking a picture and Alfie and Charlie taking a rest out of breath talking again Well, it's probably half twelve, one o'clock, and we took a slightly wrong turn in. Um, so I don't think we're going to manage to finish the walk that we planned, but we might try and get to the trig point still. Um, but while we've got a lovely view of the lake, we're going to have some lunch. There we go. This is our picnic view. Field. and over all the water. So I've got Charlie sorted with his dinner. I've got Charlie sorted with his dinner and I'm eating mine. There's a slight breeze. But I've got a salad again with curry loaf, balsamic vinegar, um, mango chutney, two hi-fi bars and some fruit, water and a diet coke and Andrew's got his ham sandwich with crisps and we keep looking at the view Well we just finished lunch I thought I'd just take over and do the, uh, the filming for a little bit there's uh, Old's water from my position we have to start to head back, I think, because um, mainly because the car park's going to run out, and it took us nearly two hours to get here. So uh, we're going to have to head back. Hopefully, we'll get back with a bit of time to spare, so we can have have a coffee somewhere. But yeah, I think you can uh, agree that it's it's a lovely view again. Not quite as high as yesterday, but. Oh, just stay again. Beautiful. Here we go then. Suitably refreshed after lunch. We are making our way back down. We didn't quite make it to the top of Galbarrow Fell, but never mind, we've had a little wander. I think we've probably done about two, maybe three miles by the time we get back to the bottom. That's enough for today. Uh, we might have time for some refreshments. I'll Andrew, you want me to hurry up? Yes, please. Why do you want me to hurry up? Um, so we don't get a parking fine. Are you sure it's not because you want a coffee in the coffee shop? Yes. I'm coming. I'm coming now. It's like being followed by a 90 year old. It is quite a steep descent, you know. Well, am, I do am I going down to a different place to you or something? Go on. So we didn't quite make it up there. We went, we went up there, which was apparently a wrong turn. But never mind. Uh, we probably were a bit tight to complete the walk anyway. There's the helicopter. Don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's not a helicopter. What is it on the show? Anyway, 
Okay, let me know. Was that a helicopter or was that some kind of flyer plane thing? It was a Chinook. It was a Chinook, Andrew says. We'll see. Right, I'll catch you later. Back at the uh, river or stream or beck or whatever you want to call it. I'll well, we just continue walking down back towards the car. One of the waterfalls from the other side. What have you to say for yourself? Waterfall. Waterfall. It's not the waterfall though. No, but it's wet. Flush, flush. So we have to come down on a slightly different path. And we have finally found a view of Aeroforce Waterfall. So this is what we've come to see and what we've been waiting to see since last year. So I shall let you enjoy it for a few moments. Could show you over here slightly, all through the woods and everything. We've got to make our way down there. Get back to this. So we are sat in the tea outside the tea room, which is near the um, car park, the Air Force car park. It's just behind. The National Trust Tea Room. We've got a gorgeous view over here. Andrew's got a Magnum and a 7 Up. Oh, it's a 7 Up free. It is. And I've got an Americano with milk and a fruit scone with clotted cream and strawberry jam. Who knows how many sins, but I don't care. We're going to enjoy this. Just look at that as well. So it's now 25 past three. We've come away from the Aeroforce car park and we parked up in Glenridden. Andrew's just getting a couple of hours on the meter. Uh, and we're gonna have probably a little wander around shops and cafes and then we'll, um, there is a little footpath round the lake. So we'll probably go and have a look at the lake, uh, which is Ullswater. Here we are then. We found a little park next to Wall's Water. I think this is where we sat and ate an ice cream uh, on our way back from our walk last time. So we can have a little wander and a little sit down here and have my other views. That's what she did, I took her off. Yeah. <laughs> this is what would happen if we let Charlie off. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she'd do the same, but she'd miss on something. We'll go back to win. Stay. Stay. <laughs> and here we go. 
down near the water's edge. Blazing sunshine. We could probably be up there looking down on it, but we're here. There's the cafe where we stopped last year to get an ice cream after a long walk. It's such a lovely day, we didn't want to go back yet. We took us back. There's some people canoeing there. So this is where we are, Jenkins Field. You can see all the water there. Sitting in Jenkins Field, admiring the view. Do you mind? You're in the way. Come on, get out at shop. We'll go over here instead. There's one of the steamers which we rode on last year. If you look up our Ullswater vlog, you'll see us on the steamer. They do allow dogs. And it stops at Aeroforce and Howtown, as well as Glenridding. Man of the hour. Yeah, I am. There he is, look. Where's he gone, Charlie? What's he doing? Have you come? Charlie, you come on holiday? Well, he has been such a good boy. Charlie, good boy. Good boy. I know. No, it's just after half past four and we're just leaving um, whatever field it was, the name of the field I said, that's by Ull's Water. We've had a good 45 minutes just chilling here, haven't we? Oh, do you know, it's been marvellous. Lovely. Wonderful, relaxing. Oh, Lovely sunshine. You can't beat it. What do you think to the car parking charges? Not a lot, really. We had to pay another £2 for a couple of hours here. Three. but. Oh yeah, £3 for another couple of hours here. 
uh, but it's been worth it and now we can go and relax at home for the rest of the evening. So we will see you back at home for our evening meal. What are you having? No idea. I'm having chips. Chips and... I might have that, um, that uh, beef and gravy. Beef and gravy. With some Jersey Royals. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds well, good. Well, we'll it? see. Yeah. We'll see. So, we're home. It's five, just after six o'clock. I've changed into my shorts. Um, and evening meal tonight is the Spice and Ice Persian Koftas, which I made in my batch cook. Half of the stir fry, which I picked up at Booze. And some active fry chips. So, that is all sin free but I'll probably have some tomato ketchup on it which is half a sin a tablespoon and then I've got some sweetened quark, a chopped pear, probably about half a sin's worth of sprinkled chocolate powder and some skinny peanut butter sauce with a no added sugar juice. Yum yum. Good evening can see I've caught the sun a little bit even though I did put sun cream on. I'm just doing battle with the map for tomorrow's walk and it's defeating me at the moment because I'm absolutely exhausted. I need to fold it up and I can't figure out how to do it. Fold it up and fit it in here. The, what, the, uh, the map cover. I just just fall asleep just here. Right, well, it's uh, twenty to nine, and I think I'm just going to get in the shower. But this is the current state of yesterday's vlog, or the the day, the vlog for Tuesday, which is day two. This has actually been uploading since five thirty this morning. And we're now nearly nine o'clock and we are at 77%. So fingers crossed that will continue to upload. But I'm off in the shower. Well, it's now 9.30 in the evening on Wednesday. And that was a very good shower. Nice and powerful. Enjoyed that. And I'm feeling like I've been massaged now. So I end the day with a coffee made of skim milk. Crispy fries, which I think are three and a half sins. They're from Aldi. And Skinny Whip from Home Bargains for four and a half sins. Obviously, I've had the scone today, so I don't know how many sins I'm ending on. But I don't think I've done too bad overall. Thank you very much for watching.